Welcome to the Go Markets MT4 Genesis tutorial. MT4 Genesis provides a suite of tools to help you optimize your trading experience within MT4. Now in this video, we're gonna show you how to use the mini terminal. Now to get started, head over to the navigator window on the left hand side here, where you see the expert advisors, and then have a look for mini terminal. Now to apply it, you can double left click on it or simply left click and drag it over the chart. Click on okay, and you'll notice the mini terminal has been applied. Now the mini terminal allows us to place a lot of automated trades, a lot of advanced orders, and a lot of templates that we can use within the terminal as well. So let's take a look at how we can use this. Now the first thing we can do obviously is click buy or sell at market. So that'll enable us to buy or sell directly at market. That's nice and easy. But one of the great things within the mini terminal is it enables us to place automated stop loss, trailing stop and take profit orders. So let's say we wanted to buy at market, we could place a position size of 0.01 or a micro trade. We could use the up and down arrows here to select or we could just say, I wanna put my stop loss 20 pips away and I wanna put my take profit 40 pips away and I wanna buy at market. If I click on buy, it'll ask me to confirm that, click on yes and you'll notice it puts my buy order in at market, it puts my stop loss 20 pips away and my take profit 40 pips away. So it's automatically executed into the market. Now let me close this particular order and show you another order that we can actually apply in the market by buying at limit. So in this particular trade, we've got an open position. Now the easiest way to close this position is just to left click on the number here and it will bring up my current profit and loss. So you'll see what my loss is currently in Aussie dollars and you'll see how many pips I'm down as well. So what I could do is I could close all, close open positions, close all losers, I could reverse or I could hedge. So I'm just gonna close all, confirm that, and those positions are removed. So now what I can do is I can show you how to place the buy at limit order. So if I click on the yellow tab, this is where I get a number of options with which to place my order. So here I can do a buy order, a buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop, and a couple of other orders there, an OCO breakout, an OCO reversion. So let me take you through the buy limit for starters. Here we'll do a buy limit, which means we're gonna do a limit to buy just below the current market. So we might buy it down there at 1.0841. So we'll go 1.0841. Four, one. and we're gonna do a fixed lot size. We'll do a micro contract. We'll do a stop loss in pips. We'll put this the stop loss 20 pips away and we'll do the take profit 40 pips away. We won't put a trailing stop on this one. We could add a comment if we wanted to and we could save this template so it's always there for future use. I just left click on place order and then my order is set in the market. My limit order is sitting here below the market. If that's executed, my stop is 20 pips away and my take profit is 40 pips away. So really easy to do. We can template it so we can use the same order type and order functionality on future trades. So let me just delete this order. I just right click on the line and left click on delete order and those orders will be removed. Now I wanna show you one of the other ones, which is good for those that might be interested in trading news and breakouts on news. So we got something here called the OCO breakout or a one cancels other breakout. So let me left click on that one. So what this enables us to do is if there's a news item pending, we might wanna put in a buy order to buy above and a sell order to buy below. Just we don't know which way it's gonna go, but we think it's gonna break pretty hard and fast one way or the other. So things like non-farm payrolls, interest rate announcements and those type of things can really make the market move quite violently, but we don't know which way it will go. So we've got an OCO breakout. So buy stop price, we could say, if it moves 30 pips on the upside, sell stop entry price, we might say, well, if it moves 20 pips to the downside, We'll trade a micro lot in this case, and we'll put our stop loss the same distance away, 20 pip stop loss and a 40 pip take profit. We could save that template. And in this case, we're just gonna left click on place order and it'll place all those orders in the market for us. So we've got our order to buy above the market and should, th should that get hit, then it will have a stop loss and a profit target. Or if the market falls, we'll get executed on our sell stop at this price, our stop loss there and our take profit there. So as you can see, it makes your order process very, very simple. You can template it and reuse those orders over and over again. And you can create a multitude of those styles of orders so you can use them for future uses. Now, another great feature within the mini terminal is we can actually undock the particular window on this. So we can undock the chart by left clicking on undock chart and it will 
move out of the way so we can actually have it open with all of our order and we can move it around and we can do whatever work we're on and I could actually minimize the MT4 platform. I could be working in the background on my GoMarkets website and scrolling through or browsing something but still have my chart and mini terminal open so I can quickly access my buy and sell. I can see exactly where my orders are sitting in regards to my uh, perhaps my OCO and that type of thing. So just another note on that OCO breakout, the whole idea of the one cancels the other order is once it goes one way, it immediately cancels that other sell stop order or buy stop order. So if the market rises to this level here at the buy stop, it'll cancel that sell stop and vice versa. So there you go. So now what I can do is I can redock the chart, brings it back into the MT4 terminal, just might maximize that and we're ready to go. So that's the MT4 terminal. We hope you found the information on it quite useful. And of course, we look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Thank you.